Hello, friends. Today, we will learn about intestinal worms. You're going to eat this meal? Oh, it, it doesn't look fresh. You know, any kind of undercooked meat can pass worms to the person who eats it. Intestinal worms, also called parasitic worms, are one of the main types of intestinal parasites in humans. They live inside the digestive system and feed off nutrients from their host. It causes the infected person to become malnourished and prone to disease and chronic illness. Wow, you are preparing beetroot soup. You know it's good to have pomegranates, beets, and carrots to help stay away from worms. What are the different types of intestinal worms? Tapeworms. They live in the digestive tract, and these long, flat worms look like a piece of tape or ribbon. Their eggs typically enter a human host from animals through food, particularly raw or undercooked meat. Tapeworm eggs can be present in stools. Pinworms. They are thread-like worms and cause intestinal disease. This infection is very common, affecting approximately 1 billion people worldwide. School-aged children, followed by preschoolers, have the highest rates of infection. Round worms. These worms look white, round, or curved, and spaghetti-like in appearance. They are widely found in places where people poop outside. They spread if you ingest the eggs after coming into contact with contaminated soil. Whipworms. The whipworm derives its name from its characteristic whip-like shape. This infection can happen when hands or fingers that have contamination on them are put in the mouth. They also spread by consuming vegetables or fruits that have not been carefully cooked, washed, or peeled. Hookworms. They have hook-like mouths, which they use to attach to intestine walls and feed. Hookworm infection is acquired through skin exposure to larvae and soil contaminated by human feces. Trichinella. Trichinella spiralis is the smallest known nematode parasite of humans. This parasitic infection is caused by consuming undercooked or raw meat. Flukes. Most of the flukes are flattened and leaf-like. It enters the liver and the parasite starts feeding on liver cells. You can get a fluke infection from coming into contact with contaminated water or eating infected aquatic plants or fish. Let's see some of the common symptoms of intestinal worms. Pain in the abdomen. Diarrhea, nausea, or vomiting gas and bloating, fatigue and weight loss. It's still important to contact a doctor if you suspect a worm infection so you can get treated early. Medication is often effective at getting rid of worms. Let's review. Here is a list of types of intestinal worms. Tapeworms, pinworms, roundworms, whipworms, hookworms, trichinella, and flukes. You can use it for your assignments. Now you know a lot about the topic. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye bye!